Welcome to Shane's Main Shop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace a valve stem on this one. It has a split in it. If I tip it off to the side here, you can see it split. So of course it is leaking. That is no good. So I'm gonna show you how to replace that today. Before I get into this video, I just wanna let you know I have a link down in my description of another channel that has a lot of good videos, different content. Uh, it's called The Art of Doing. His name is Ben. He has a lot of different topics than me, but uh, hey, take a minute, swing over there, check him out. See if it's uh, something you might be interested in as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get that valve stem removed. Now, I'm not showing you how to take a tire off a car. Hopefully you can do that. And of course, you're going to need a few specialized equipments, uh, pieces of equipment to make this repair. Uh, number one, you would need some sort of way to break down the tire. In other words, get the bead off of the rim. And I have this one here. It's from, I believe, Harbor Freight. Very relatively inexpensive, you know, 120 bucks or something. So you need to break the rim down. And that's what I did here. Now, the best thing to do is to completely remove the tire from the rim. But in the interest of saving some time, because it's late here tonight, I am not going to do that. Now, that's why I broke it down in the area that I broke it down in, because I have access to the underside of it just the way it is. All you need to make the process easier is this valve stem remover slash inserter. And it just has a swivel head on here and it's threaded that it would thread on top of the valve stem. And I'll show you that in a minute and I'll show you how it works, but you'll need that. And then of course you'll need a way to cut the old valve stem uh, from the underside. And uh, a razor blade is best, but where I left the tire on, it's easier to get in with a bigger knife like this to cut that nub off the bottom. And I'll show you that as well. But basically, I'm just going to go underneath on the back side, right close to the rim, and cut off the bottom of this valve stem. Okay, it just came off. And then I'm going to go ahead and screw this into a valve stem, like so. Now, if the tire was off, I could just do this like this, but since the tire is still on here, Last times what I'll do is put a block of wood in here just to give me a little bit more lever piece here. Let's put it on like that. And when you pull, it's going to pop the rest of that out. I guess I didn't get it all cut, but I got enough cut that I got it out. And then you're going to go ahead and remove this from that. And then this will be discarded. All right, next thing you want to do is get your new one. You can see this one's new. It's all in good shape. Uh, and of course, um, the piece that I cut off, I got out of there as well. I just pushed the tire down, reached down in and got that. So you want to make sure you don't leave that behind. Um, and what I do with these usually, same thing when you put the tire back on, is just, this is just a dish detergent diluted in water. Very, very mild. And just, uh, whoops, spray a little on this so it slides up in a little bit better. And uh, I'll just show you, we'll get this stick out of the way for a minute. Uh, make sure that the area around the hole is nice and clean. There's nothing in there. I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off the new one. Set that aside. Have our tool ready. I'm going to push down on the tire. Again, the best thing to do would be to take the tire completely off the rim, but I'm just cheating here. Push down on it enough that you can, hopefully you can see that. If you can or not. Came back up through right there. Now it's not all the way through because you got that nub and there's like a little space between that nub and the stem itself so it locks into the rim itself. And then you're just going to do the same thing. So you got it set up just like this, screwed on all the way. I'm going to go ahead and pull down on this and then it pops in place just like that. So hopefully you can see that it's popped in place. And you're going to go ahead and remove this. Uh, so putting a little soapy water on there makes it slide up in there a little bit better. All right, the only thing left to do is to get air back in the tire so we can get that bead set. And where I didn't take the whole thing off, it should set pretty easily. If you take the whole tire off the rim, then sometimes it's going to be a little bit of a pain, but this is pretty much still on there, so it should catch and... There we go. I'm going to probably make a loud pop here, possibly, as that bead sets.
All right, other than that, the only thing left to do is to make sure you have the proper pressure. And we're only at 20 pounds. We're going to a little bit more in there. This one calls for 35 pounds. Okay, so we got the pressure where we want it. I'm going to go ahead and return the valve stem. I mean the valve stem cover. And there you have it. That's how you can change a valve stem on a tire. And I'll put a link to these and the tools I use in the description. These are relatively inexpensive. You can get them online or at local stores as well. But yeah, it's uh, relatively easy and a lot cheaper than hiring it down. Of course, you do need a few specialized tools. But all right, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. It's a Shane's Main Shop, but I want you to check out The Art of Doing. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. You ready to play, Layla?